Hi, my name is TJ Bitterbrook. I'm a University of Minnesota student at Global Studies undergrad. One of the things I learned from my mother is don't hinder yourself. Just because you're deaf doesn't mean you're not able to do things. And the best thing you do is educate other people that you have the ability to do things. My first year in college, I was actually going for um, education. I went to teach middle school education, especially about like the whole world because I like traveling a lot. And I guess I got involved with politics along the way. I looked at uh, global studies and found out that they have a merger of traveling and politics. And I love getting involved with politics, especially human rights. The one thing that's good about transferring to global studies is it's not focused on one thing, but a general variety of things. It's uh, broad, but it's still able to narrow it down to some specific field. It sounds crazy, but the general career of global studies could be present in the United States, because basically he works with the international community, um, agree agreements, treaties, peace plans, and all that. You could be the president of the United States, but if you want to go there for there's a or huge organization such as the Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, the United Nations, or organiza small organizations overseas. Being a successful student of global studies would mean making connections. That's pretty much how you get a job nowadays, is have the best connection. I've done maybe three internships throughout my years of undergrad. An uh, internship I did is with Global Deaf Connections that specifically was in Uganda. The whole purpose was to serve the uh, deaf community in Uganda. There was one school we went to. The whole purpose of the school from kindergarten to third is to teach them the language, help them understand sign language so they're able to communicate. And we, they had a little boy sitting outside the gate. There was like a bundle, like a huge bundle of clothes. We thought it was just a blanket left outside. We didn't say anything. We just looked and then it started moving. He was deaf, he didn't know sign language. He was like at least five or six years old. There was no name. No history, no background, nothing. Who started talking to the boy? He was like, hi, how are you? Where's your mom and dad? He had the biggest smile on his face, like all pearly whites. He was so cute. He looked at me. He was like shaking his head again. And that's when we realized he doesn't know any language. And the first day we taught him the alphabet in sign language. Him being just five years old, broke out in tears. He didn't realize that he's able to communicate because that's the first time he's able to communicate with anybody. It's the first time he actually learned something. I will never take back that experience. That's my goal to set up um, small schools, possibly, in different countries. Since Global Studies has a track of human rights in their program, I decided to uh, go for that. One of my biggest goals is to be a field officer for the United Nations. The biggest important word is do not hinder yourself because if you do, you're not gonna strive in a big community such as the University of Minnesota. Don't be afraid to show them who you are and what you stand for, because that's what's important.